Where is where is the high probability at? We're we're at we're at a resistance level on the daily chart. We're at uh, you know momentum. I mean trend almost being flat on the fifteen minute. Mm -hmm. um, hooking on the sixty minute consolidation to the downside on the two minute uh, momentum flat. Where's the high probability? Give me a high probability trade and I'll take it right now. How about that? Somebody give me a high probability trade. Go ahead, guys. Just take a guess. What's the highest you? probability trade you could take right now? Where? Give me a price and where looking at the current conditions. Robert's being sneaky and sort of uh, sit on hands is a trade, actually. Yeah, you know, it's not a bad guess. 222 W long. Let me scooch up here. 222. I mean, just three points above here. Mm -hmm. Why 222? How is that high probability? What makes 222? I, I want to ask, what makes 222 W long a high probability? Somebody. One seventy. Okay, so he was saying buy stop one seventy five. Rad saying one fifty nine down. Um, let's let's put that in, in there. I'm going to use the fifteen minute chart since these are bigger pictures. Well, so put one two w two twenty two coach. All right, two twenty two. Yeah, two twenty two long. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> we have I, that was my question. Like, okay, maybe there's a new system here. I don't. Yeah, I, we're gonna, we're gonna go through it. Just, I'm, I'll call them out for you, Coach. Then we got a 173 by limit. Right. 173 by limit. Right. 173 by limit. All right, and then the next one we have is a 159 sell stop. 159 sell stop. Okay. Right around there, yeah. Small stick. All right, then we have a 244 sell limit. Yeah, spread these out a little bit. 244 sell limit, yeah. Is everybody else in the room seeing what's happening right now? This is, the this clustering. Is a, this is a good exercise. Yeah, it, it really is. Great idea. So we got the 244 cell limit, and then we have a, uh, looks like 284 long, or just 84. Where's 84? All right. 084? Text, text Bob, what does 84 mean? Is yeah. it 084? Looks like 084 is what he's looking for. So that would be a, yeah. It's I think right. he means 084. All yep. right. Sell limit? Sell stop? Yep. No, long. Long, okay. Buy limit. Buy limit there. Okay. 275 long. 275 buy stop long, okay. All right, that's enough for now, guys. Yeah. There's a 280, but we'll keep the 275. All right. Uh, one long, Ernie, look like 185. We've already got that covered, Ernie. All right. So now we have we have both a sell stop. Now, now here's 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 the here's the exercise, guys. You guys have these all clustered in here, and which one of those is the highest probability? Again. The first line is that middle one at uh, two. Two twenty-two there, right? Two twenty-two. So let's let's talk about probability of each one, right? So yeah. we have two twenty-two long. That would have to be a buy stop, right? For the day. yeah, it was because it was like two nineteen before. Oh yeah, that's what it was. All right, so. 220, and we're just going to take the lines off as we talk through it, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what makes that a high probability trade? Now that's the question. So we've got that. What makes this a high probability trade? Looking at what's happening on the chart, what would make that a high prob probability trade? Stochastics, two-minute stochastics, um, trend, momentum. 
Range break. It's right in the middle of the previous bars, the 60 minute bar, and could go either way, right, guys? No? Yes? Right. Does that make sense, guys? So if I'm looking at this chart and I'm saying, um, okay, I'm talking high probability. When I say high probability, we're not looking for a three tick scalp, right, guys? So let's let's make right. that disclaimer. We're not looking for a three tick scalp. Could it work? Yes, it could work. High pro probability says we have hit resistance and it's gotten tested several times just above this, right? So when you when you're thinking high probability, are we thinking that this is going to be a trade that's going to make me, you know, 20 ticks? Probably mm. not. How much how much do you have to risk in that trade? Well, when I'm looking at my chart, you have to risk <clears throat> at least for uh, you have to risk at least 40 ticks. Yep. So who, who wants to risk 40 ticks on that trade? Yes or no? I don't think I want to risk it right down there. That would be a stop with the coach is saying right there for, mm, for a maybe it'll go up trade. So the maybe it'll go up. So that's not high probability. There's not a single thing on the charts that says – Hey, uh, stochastics is working for me. Uh, uh, it's a major swing point. It's, it's, it's. If anything, we're at a point where we're in an area of resistance, um, and um, we've got uh, 15 minute turning down. There's nothing on the charts that says, "Hey, this is high probability." To me, this says, um, if I'm going to do a buy stop there, I might be able to scout three points. You better look for a low tick read. So let's take that off the chart. That, that, yep. that, doesn't really make sense. So we're going to lose that 222 buy stop. Yeah, it would have made you money. But is it really high probability? No. So let's go back through. Who's the next one? Um, Hugo says long at 173. So that would be a buy limit. Buy limit I, down here. I could probably get more in line with that being a higher probability trade. Trend is up. It would be a good pullback yeah, into previous support here. Yep. That bar. And uh, you've got two bars prior to that, where, which seem to indicate support. So that is a, a better one. But the coach is the is that the highest probability trade. I mean. Why is that not going to be the highest probability trade? I'm, I haven't looked back through the answers here, but it's not the highest probability trade. Why? It's not a super high probability trade. I'm, I keep scrolling back and forth between the what people said. So, Coach, you'll have to keep track of the comments. Yep. So 173 long. I could probably get down with it, but what are you, what are you willing to risk to take that long? High probability. What are you willing to risk? Are we willing to risk? 20 ticks. You go said 20 ticks, no more. 20 ticks. Okay. So looking at the 133, the prior swing, if you take that 173 long, the prior swing is at somewhere around 113. So that is a... 60 point stop you have to put in place for that trade. How many ticks are you looking to make out of that? 160. So to me, that would be a point. Yeah, I might could put a buy limit there and say, let's see what happens, but I'm not willing to risk a lot. If you're up big for the day, does that make sense? What do you think, coach? Yeah, if you're up big, that, that's a good trade. I mean, you're going to control your risk, 20 points. Why not, guys? It's better than a coin flip. Yeah, so the the two the two two uh, that 220 W long is a coin flip trade, especially coming into consolidation. This is better than a coin flip, so we'll keep that one. Let's go to the next one then. Then we have a uh, the 159 sell Yeah, stop. the 159. All right. If it breaks this, what? Well, why? That's a buy. Somebody said buy it there, right? It's well there. Yeah. Um, hmm. Seems it's like stops point. would be hit, and it would try for this area, one thirteen. So, how much are you willing to risk on that one? Yeah. And seven. what? What's going to make it turn around at one fifty nine? One fifty nine. What do we think is going to make it turn around? 
Well, one no, sell stop, so it would keep selling at one fifty nine. So you're still looking at one fifty nine. So if it sells off at one fifty nine, what is what what's the risk we're taking? Let's see. One fifty nine. <laughs> one fifty nine sell stop, right? Yeah. So what is the probability? What's that? What what would make that a high now now now? Uh, <laughs> Brian's like, uh, see, my W worked out. It was a high probability. <laughs> Just because it worked out doesn't make it a high probability. Yeah. Choice, guys. So what what? What range are you looking at to say 159 sell? That's the that's the question I'm trying to get at here. Is you got 159 as a sell stop? It's just below the low of a previous previous wick. But you also have a major swing point just below that. So what's the probability on that? Low or high? That's a low probability trade, right? Yeah, and it's also good, guys. You know, we're looking at one chart. You want to look at the other one. Is there a pivot level there? You know, I mean, I'm looking at two minute on that one, one, one fifty nine sell stop, and there's a swing point right below it. Yeah. So that tells me, nah, maybe I don't want to do probability. That that probability is pretty low. Two forty four Jackson's got the sell limit. Might be. 244 sell limit. Is that what he said? Yeah. So the 244 sell limit, if you're scalping, that probably could have worked. And would not have worked. Now, why would that not be a high probability trade as well? That's here's a good one. Why is 244 not a high probability trade? Sell limit. Forget about what, what just happened. That price just went up. Price where price was. Trend is up. Trend is up. Trend is up, and you're fighting consolidation. So probably not the best thing to do in that. So we can lose that line. Forget the 244 sell limit. You guys see what we're doing here? This is this is what I'm trying to get you guys to do. Like a chess move, move, guys. He's analyzing it just like you were looking at a chessboard. 84 long. The one, the one I do like, Coach, is Tex Bob's 84 long. Yeah. Why that is, is that a great probability trade? That's the one I like. That the highest probability trade that we've gotten is from Tex Bob. Who remembers the long. resistance earlier this morning? 30084, right? It blew through that. So do you think someone who's short at 84 would beg for the opportunity to cover it? Also, if you think about it, you don't need that market has to show support there. You could get away with like a 30 point stop. If it goes there, it's from here. Here's what's going to happen. That's a great you know, that's where Coach and I agree. It's going to move big time from here, either up or down. Because if there is no support in there and it breaks even like 30 points, this thing then turns into a downtrend. And then it's going to challenge this peak high, 7 a.m. And now, remember, we said the market's going to encounter resistance as it goes up. So far, it encountered this 3 74. But here's the cool thing. The market already gave you the one big pullback trade that we got the Cucaracha trade out of it. Remember, we were buying down here. Do you guys remember where we went long earlier at 159? Now, 159 is not so great, but it was great then because I was buying it on the way up. That, who, who said 159 go long? Now, who said that? that? Was, um, oh, I was just looking at it. 
Jackson, I think. Yeah. See, that's where I went long earlier because, look, here's the deal, guys. Remember, this is what we did over here. We had 372, right? If you remember, 372, 195 points, the volatility from that. We said the minimum, it's going to go down at 177. Remember? I said it was going to come down. You, you, you don't get do-overs. See, and that's where I think traders who miss this go, whoa, the next time. No, that's the time. If it comes back down there again, these guys who bought it, yeah, 159 short, definitely not. Definitely not a, a short there. That is That is the support. Here's what we did earlier. Let me tell you the two I like while coaches. Yeah, go do. ahead, coach. You, you do two, that while. Yeah, the, two I'll get ready like, the, the two that I like was the 175, I think, the 275 buy stop. Yep. I like that because why? It's a break of the range, right? Yeah. Breaking high. The buy limit I like. Yeah. Because it gives the market enough of a pullback to consider that the profit taking may be over. Exactly. That's it. Those are the two I like. Everybody, else, everyone else, I would say, nope, off the table. Yeah, keeps going down. Then you don't want it anymore. It shouldn't go down anymore. If this was, a, if this was where the big boys came in to buy it at one twelve, you don't want it back down there again. That means they sold it up here. So I hope you guys. Are, this is a great lesson, Coach. I mean, it was fantastic. Here's what we did earlier. We, we marked that area of support of 177. You remember? When, when the market ran up here, I drew this out. I went to rest, right? 177. I said, that's where you can expect the market to begin to show support. Why? Not the, not the third or fourth time. The first time. That's where you had to buy it the first time because that's a 195-point pullback from the high. So what happened? It did keep going lower. Lunchtime, there aren't too many big boys around. So there are, they were buying it there, but not as many as normally might support it right there. So you got to be aware of that. Not every single money manager is sitting there in the middle of lunchtime chewing on their taco sandwich or whatever they, they're eating and drinking their drinks, but some are buying. However, if you remember, I said, all right, let's see how far it goes down and look for the first type of W. Then it bounced from here. So the real support came in between 177 and 111. So once it came down here, then it ran up here. This was where we got that Kukaracha trade earlier. If you remember, guys, it ran up to there. I'm sorry, to here. Remember that bar, which was what? The high there is 158, right? And then it started back down to form the double bottom. So this was our trade. We put in two orders. Who remembers this? We put the order to... Limit order to go long at 116, never got there, only re reached mid Bollinger, and then a buy stop at 159. Remember? And I said 259 was Cucaracha time. And I think it was Slade. Uh, um, who came in later and said, Where are you buying the pullback? trying to think who came in uh, later. Sloan, Sloan. Sloan came in said, oh, you're long? I said, yeah, where's the pullback? I said, 159. So when he came in here, we were already long. And we were trying to add, he was trying to add at 159 right here. That's how we get that probability, high probability trade, because it already bottomed. And there was our... Buy limit never got filled there. That showed you it was legitimate support. So I stayed long, and then we added when it broke above 
this, and guess what? Cucaracha time at 2.59 right here. So here's the deal, right? Like you guys are just saying, if it goes down through there now, below that, that's, that's a short. That's a short below there. That's a high probability short. If it takes out the support that amazingly held earlier, well, then all your trends are going to be down. But as Coach said, the pullback, intermediate pullback is good. Here's the problem. A lot of traders, they want desperately to trade. So whatever buy and sell, they do it always near where it currently is. Almost like saying, I definitely want to get a trade on. So I, I'm going to put a buy stop like right here so I can get long or a sell stop right there. You don't look at the bigger picture. So Coach Brian asked, what's the highest probability? Don't always jump in where the price currently is. Great lesson. That was, yeah. that? And and you notice you notice what most people did. They tried to play ball around this area where price is at doesn't there's no real price decision. There's no real right. price. Yeah. So it's like, trying to jump in around yeah. that area. I gotta do something. I gotta do something. Right here. I'll do it right now. Right. That's a buy so, signal. That's a high price. Right here. Look, 319. I, I want to get long. So I'm gonna buy it right here. There's support. You it's always know. support where the current price is. That was probably the biggest thing that made me lose money for 49 months. <laughs> always had to do, because otherwise I miss the great trade. That's it. Instead of now saying, you know what? That isn't a great trade. Maybe down here it is. Uh, how about the other probability, right? A break of resistance now. Hey, there 370. You means all of this was a great buying pullback and anyone short down here are going to be trapped again. Most so this is this is actually it was a great lesson because I wanted you guys to, to look at it. Look at yeah. partially what we were talking about in the office hours is why most people go wrong is they want to look they look too closely at the current price action and yeah. don't realize that we're, we're in an area where price is just swinging up and down and drifting. And um, you you want to go back and look at the bigger bigger picture and say, hey, look, okay, what happened when price was here? Now you can give yourself some higher probabilities. Yeah. 